welcome back to another video um got a little short clip for you from one of the streams over christmas actually um it's quite an old one but it's good so i thought i would post it um it's about the difference between winning and losing and the mentality around that and what's the difference between traders that consistently win and traders that consistently lose so if you enjoy it hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you find value in this video uh consider becoming a member by hitting the join button join button so yeah have a good day and i hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one so why some traders win and some lose um i would say that the main reason why uh most traders lose is down to a few reasons um <clears throat> If we kind of split this down the middle, we do losers versus the winners. So what does a winner do? Um, they improve each day. Um, they stick to one strategy, stick to one um, their routines. Focus on the process, not the outcome. That's a weird E. They focus on the pro on the process, not the outcome. And they have um, an understanding that trading um, is about not losing so um trading is about i guess defense charge per hard but not losing about not losing because I suppose you do have to kind of attack it sometimes, not losing. Okay. Um, and by by not losing, I mean not forcing trades and sticking to their plan. And if they don't have a trade, then they don't they don't take a trade. Um, and if the trade isn't good enough, then they just don't take it. Because it's better to not take a trade and see it hit your take profit than to take a trade and see it hit your stop loss. So what does the, what do the losers do? Um, they I mean, I would say that a lot of losers improve each day, but they're not improving the right things, right? So uh, focusing on the wrong things, I guess. Focus on improving. So, for example, um, they're focused solely on their kind of trade plan. Um, I'd probably say 80% of that would be on their strategy. Um, then really it needs to be I'd probably say 60%, maybe even 70% on your trade plan. That includes like risk management, strategy, psychology, uh, trade management, money management. And then 40 to 30% um, would be on things outside of your trading. So um, your nutrition, your fitness, your mental health, your routines. 
Um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Focus on improving wrong things. Okay. They tried to find the kind of... Tried to find... The perfect strategy. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, hold on, let me close this down. Um, they try to find the perfect strategy. Um, they wake up whenever they want, and they check the charts whenever they want, so they have no routines. Um, I would also add to this, no discipline. Well they, well, they will have discipline, but they'll have discipline when it matters to them. Uh, yeah, whatever. No discipline. And they focus on the outcome. So I know that it's kind of the opposite to what the winners do, but there are little differences in here. Um, so, for example, when they miss a trade, they'll either... Um, they, they, so they won't be frustrated at themselves because they missed the trade. They'll be either happy or angry, depending on whether that missed trade hits their stop loss or take profit. So they're focusing on the outcome. Um, and they are focused on... I suppose um, it's that kind of thing of if you're not in the markets, you can't make money. Um, but then it's also, I guess it's FOMO, but it's a, it's a little bit more than that because obviously um, a lot of traders kind of understand um, that you shouldn't have FOMO and all that kind of stuff. But it's it's not like. Um, I'm going to say this. But they understand that you can't win every trade, but they still try and take every trade. Does that make sense? Um, so they take... I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Take every trade. That probably didn't make sense to some people, but um, they're, they're, they're too focused on the outcome and how much money they can make or percentages that they can make rather than protecting their capital and protecting their um, investment. So yeah, that's probably the main differences between winners and losers. Obviously there are more than this. Um, and you can go into a lot of detail about each and every one of these. For example, improving each day. This doesn't just include improving your results each day. It doesn't just include improving your entries, exits, risk management, psychology every day. It also is talking about improving your mental health every day, your confidence every day, your understanding around maybe um, other industries or technologies that are coming out so that you can enhance your trading. Um, yeah, the, the, you can literally improve everything. So um, the winners are constantly interested in finding ways to improve themselves. For example, um, one of the ways is having red light in your bedroom when you go to sleep because red light helps your body to um, get into deep sleep. And when you're in deep sleep, your body uh, regenerates uh, more. So yeah, that's literally one little tiny little thing, having a red light in your bedroom when you go to sleep. And it helps your body go into deep sleep. I guarantee you there's no trader, or there's very, very few traders that will think about putting a red light in their bedroom 
to help them get more deep sleep and think that that could benefit their training. Um, there's, there's so much, there's so, so much that you can improve on every day. It just takes a little bit of research and a little bit of time to find the stuff. But um, yeah, there's so much out there. There's so much out there. Um, stick into one strategy. Everyone knows that. Um, routines, everyone knows that, but doesn't really do it. I mean, it's, it's hard. Um, I guess that's where the discipline comes in. But um, yeah, the less that you can think about until you start trading, the better. Because it's like if you have, if you think of your kind of uh, energy as a bar. So let's say when you wake up, you have like 100% of this. And then you get up and it does this, you make some tea, it does this, you make some coffee, whatever. You do a little bit of a workout. You... Um, check your emails, you watch a YouTube video, um, all this kind of stuff. As you go through the day, your little energy bar is going down. If all of this can be your routine and it gets to a stage where you don't even have to think, all of this is crammed into this tiny little bit at the end. And then you have all of this to focus on your trading and learning and improving and all this kind of stuff. Focus on the process. I mean, we kind of talked about that quite a lot um, with this one, but yeah, it's focusing on the actual process of your trading plan and not the outcome of the trades. And then trading is not... Um, trading isn't about not losing. Um, so yeah, we spoke about that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think.